Look at this beautiful bud of something called Malverde. And it's really incredible. And this is a tip from Brother Kirk, who went down to the Green Dragon. He actually gave me the tip, and I ran down there, but I didn't get it. And But it was on Dr. Green Thumb's menu this week. So when I saw it, I ran down there, and look at this beautiful bud. And this thing is super sticky. I mean, it's sticky and powdery and covered with crystals, and it's all that. If you touch this, they're on your hand. You have to wipe your hands off. It's really beautiful. So let's really quickly just add the one scoop of flour into vapor cup. There's like three scoops in here. We can put a little bit more in too. Yeah. And we're going to tamper. This is about a bong it's worth. And we're going to stick this down into the vapor cup. And in about a minute and a half, it's going to give off the sweet water vapor and the terpene flavor. And I just love this thing. And I love doing these reviews because in the end of the day, this cup plus the best flour... It's the best way I know of to use flour right now. Today we're going to talk about Malverde. And you can see, I went online and that is Malverde, or at least a picture of who they're declaring is Malverde. And I am no Malverde expert, but with my Google search, he was a bandito from Mexico. And so, and they named a flower after him. And he lives on as a flower. And I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. So anyway, this flower has 32% THC, making it super high THC flower. And it's funny as you look into the market and you see prices, this flower is on the lower side with 32% THC. So we're looking forward to trying it. So you can see I've got vapor in the straw. I've got this cup set to 330 degrees. So let's check out the legend of Mal excuse me, Malverde. The weed. So this flower definitely is OG. And it's funny because depending on how long you leave it in there, it can be more pungent or less pungent out of a vapor cup. And this one's kind of sweet pungent, but it's definitely got the pungent pow. But the nice thing is it actually mellows a little bit, keeps the flavor, goes more weedy, a little bit sweet, a little bit perfumey. It's complex taste. This flower is smooth and with 32% THC. And I'm telling you, this flower, it's strong. And I can tell you something. For me, I went too far. When I did this flower, there was a good point where I felt really good, and I should have stopped there, but I kept going, and in the end, it messed with my bounce a little bit. This is a super strong flower. I'm going to give this flower an 875, because it didn't grin me out. But for people that are looking for a heavy, I'm telling you, Malverde's got the heavy going on. This is a super strong flower. It's on the cheaper side of the market. It's a winner. You know, if I'm just buying based on value... This is a really good value in the market. And if you are on a budget, go grab yourself some Malverde. It's over at Dr. Green's ones right now. But you can get it at Green Dragon Dispensary too or any local dispensary. Green Dragon's around. Thanks for joining in. I'm the doctor. If you want to get a vapor cup, you can get it at vaporcup.com. I'm telling you, it's the best. I love this thing. If you're looking for strains, go to weedentertainment.com. Thanks for joining in. Tips are appreciated. Party on, my friends.